Hello everyone, my name is Atish Fettaholu and in this video I'm going to talk about my 102 final project. The name of my project is Inertial Electrostatic Confinement Fusion Reactor Measurement and Control System for Plasma Breakdown Values. Now there are three fundamental elements to my reactor system. The first one is the power delivery unit, which I use to create a potential difference up to 6000 volts between the cathode and the anode electrodes, which is fundamentally required to create ionization inside of the reactor chamber. The second system is the pressure system, which I utilize a roughing pump to basically suck the air out of the reactor system and control the fuel within. And the final system, which is the measurement system, is basically a viewport that allows me to see inside of the reactor and see if there is a glow discharge mode plasma, which will confirm plasma breakdown. Now, what I want this board to do is basically, when I turn this switch on, I want this board to simultaneously turn on the power and pressure delivery systems and begin a countdown here. And after this LDR sensor sends a logical value of one, I want this countdown to stop and indicate that there is the breakdown condition reached. And after that breakdown condition is reached, I want this system to turn off for a moment which will give the operator enough time to set new voltage values and after the operator will set the new voltage values i want this system to basically continue its loop reset the timer and start the system so what will happen is each of the relays are connected to an led which we can see here now there are three relays and one an override error system so the power system, which is connected to this switch, acts as a kill switch, and I can turn it on and off like this. This is connected to the power supply and the pressure unit. Now this is the vacuum pump system, and this is the power supply unit system, which are connected to relays. The basis board can open them and close them which is based on me turning off this general switch on or off. Finally, to implement my design on the VHDL code, I've used four modules. The first one is the top module, which I summed up all the inputs and outputs of the submodules. The second module is the debouncer module, which is used to invert the signal coming from the LDR module and at the same time reduce the noise. The reason we inverted the signal is because the LDR sensor gave a logical value of zero when the plasma breakdown condition occurred. And I thought for it to make sense, it would be better to have one as the correct breakdown value. The third module's goal is to control the seven segment display. I was able to print breakdown and error when those conditions occurred. And at the same time, during the operation of the reactor, I was able to introduce a counter to the operator to see. The fourth module is the state machine, which is the heart of the system. Using four cases in total, I was able to define conditions such as error or breakdown 
and I was able to conceptualize the idea of what my system has to do and implement it on the VHDL code. At the same time, within this module, there is a counter and with the help of the seven segment display module, I was able to print the results of those counters for the operator to see. So this is my project. Thank you for watching.